Yo, what's up with it y'all? It's JD and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I wanna talk about the importance of training like an athlete. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are into fitness, health, and overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. But let's get back into the video. What do I mean by training like an athlete? I mean having a multifaceted training style. That means you got plenty of tools in your tool belt. So for me personally, I probably, let's go over my main you know, aspects and my main tools that I have in my tool belt. Number one, I probably say is calisthenics. That's something I do almost every single day. Uh, number two, probably plyometrics. Number three would be cardio, but that's something I do on a regular basis as well. Actually, recently I've been doing it four to five times per week. But probably number four, which is something I probably don't spend as much time on, but I do it every single day, is mobility. And mobility is actually an underrated aspect of athleticism. Me and my friend had a conversation the other day about you know people being natural athletes. And one aspect that me and my friend were talking about was athletes that are extremely smooth. So I don't know if you guys you know are familiar with basketball, but if you guys are familiar with basketball, Kobe Bryant was one of the smoothest athletes I've probably ever seen in my life. And the way he moved with the ball was that, you know, it was just super smooth. The way he went to the basket, the way he, you know, could finish, the way he could rise up on his jump shot, everything. And I, whenever I think of smooth athletes, I think of people who can kind of contort their bodies in ways that most people can't. And I think that has a lot to do with mobility. Of course, some of it might be natural mobility. You know, some of it might be natural coordination, but a lot of it can be worked on with mobility. And, you know, Kobe might not have been the highest leaper. He might not have been the strongest player in the league. But mobility was a key to his, uh, you know, his repertoire and that smoothness. But when it comes down to these other aspects like, you know, plyometrics, that's where you get your quick twitch. You know, when it comes down to these things like cardio, that's where you get your endurance. That's whenever you're, you know, if you play basketball, you're able to play that 40 minutes a game if you're in college. And uh, if you're in football, you're able to stay on the field or, you know, if you're a boxer, you'd be able to, you know, go 12 rounds. All these different things are a part of all athletics. And of course, you know, you got your calisthenics, you got your resistance training. That's just that strength piece, you know what I mean, that you're going to need for all of these sports. And it can also give you a little bit of explosion as well uh, if you train your calisthenics in, you know, an explosive manner. But overall, I think that if even if you're just looking for that athletic look, you're gonna wanna train like an athlete. So if you wanna have a little bit of size on you, you know, you wanna be leaned out, you know, you still wanna be mobile. If you wanna go out and play sports and do your thing, you're gonna wanna train like an athlete. You're not gonna wanna be one dimensional. I have nothing against people who are maybe power lifters and only train in a certain way. And their goal is to, you know, maybe set some, you know, world records or whatever it may be. I have nothing, there's nothing wrong if you wanna be a, you know, long distance runner and compete in marathons, that stuff is all great. But I think if you guys are watching my channel for the fitness aspect, you're gonna wanna have more of that overall well-rounded athletic look. And in order to get that, you're gonna have to need to put together all these different components and add those into your training package. So focus on being well-rounded, focus on mobility, focus on endurance, focus on it all. You know, I've been injured recently. I've got, you know, a slight, rotator cuff tear you know and i didn't necessarily look at that as the worst thing in the world because i've been going super hard on calisthenics i tried to look at the silver lining in it and basically you know what the silver lining is is that it's helping me focus more on my plyometrics it's helping me focus more on my uh cardio and it's helping me focus more on my mobility training and it's just going to make me better in the long run so sometimes we got to look at these steps back that we take and we might take two steps back but we need to look at it as a blessing, you know, and something that's gonna propel us to move 10 steps forward on that next chapter in that next uh, level up, if you might wanna say it, in your athletic performance and in your training. But guys, if you guys are interested in getting in the best shape of your life, if you guys are interested in becoming a well-rounded athlete or just having that well-rounded athletic look, hit my website up, book a free consultation with me today. That's travelstenics.com. Uh, I also have some training programs on there, beginner calisthenics program called Progressions, an intermediate calisthenics program that's called the Body Weight Movement Guide. That's more for people who are kind of at that intermediate level, uh, maybe just have you know some athletic background, you're gonna probably wanna go for that. But if you guys are interested in the one-on-one -on -one training, that's where it combines everything, cardio, 
calisthenics, plyometrics, mobility, hit me up for that free consultation. We can talk about doing some one-on-one -on -one personal training. That's online personal training. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.